September 2002 deliberately exaggerated, or as the BBC claimed, sexed up the threat from Iraq's alleged WMD to beef up its case for war. In his report last May, the BBC's Andrew Gilligan cited a high-ranking unnamed source. Gilligan said that the government, quote, probably knew that the intelligence that Saddam Hussein could launch WMD within 45 minutes was false. That triggered a war of words between the Blair government and the BBC. Caught in the middle, this weapons expert, Dr. David Kelly. Kelly emerged as the BBC source, but denied the allegations. Reportedly cracking under intense pressure, Kelly committed suicide last July. Blair called for an immediate inquiry inquiry into Kelly's death, and today a respected Lord Judge cleared Blair and his government of any wrongdoing. And the judge chastised the BBC. In the context of the broadcast in which the sexing of allegation was reported was an allegation which was unfounded. And after today months of seeing test. his credibility ratings plummet, today Blair, visibly relieved, challenged his opponents. The allegation that I or anyone else lied to this House or deliberately misled the country by falsifying intelligence on weapons of mass destruction is itself the real lie. Yeah. But even Blair admitted that the quality of intelligence that led to war remains a fair and open question, one that experts say London, like Washington, has yet to answer. Jim Masadam, NBC News, London. Now to American politics and the race to catch Senator John Kerry in the run for the Democratic presidential nomination.